U.S. President Joe Biden has urged Hamas to accept a new Israeli proposal to end the conflict in Gaza, saying that it's time for this war to end. The three-part proposal includes a six-week ceasefire, a surge of humanitarian aid, and an exchange of hostages for Palestinian prisoners. The deal aims for a permanent cessation of hostilities and a major reconstruction plan for Gaza. Hamas has expressed a positive view of the proposal. President Biden emphasized the importance of a full ceasefire, withdrawal of IDF forces, and the exchange of hostages. UK Foreign Secretary David Cameron and UN Secretary General Antonio Guterres have also welcomed the initiative, calling for a stop to the suffering and destruction in Gaza. The proposal faces challenges, but the US aims to draw Hamas back to negotiations with the offer of a permanent ceasefire. Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu has insisted that the war will not end until its objectives are achieved. President Biden has called on Israel to support the deal, acknowledging opposition within the country. The proposal includes the return of deceased hostages and a reconstruction plan with international assistance. Hamas has shown readiness to engage constructively, provided Israel commits to a permanent ceasefire. The proposal has been transmitted to Hamas through mediators in Qatar. President Biden has faced criticism over U.S. support for Israel amid civilian casualties in Gaza. The White House clarified that recent Israeli operations do not constitute a major ground operation. U.S. lawmakers have invited Mr. Netanyahu to address Congress. The conflict has resulted in over 36,000 deaths in Gaza since its start. The war began with a Hamas attack on Israel, leading to casualties and hostages. The situation remains tense, with uncertainty about the war's duration and potential outcomes.